what can you do with the nipa trees? We are all familiar with nipa hat or bahay kubo, but maybe only few knows that sugar can be produced from nipa, in particular from nipa sap. This presentation will provide information on how nipa can be processed into natural sweetener and how it can be translated into a community enterprise. Freedom in partnership with the Bureau of Agricultural Research of the Department of Agriculture has implemented three projects for processing of natural sweetener or nipa sugar. This will focus on the second project with the first project as a take-off point and the third project as a step forward for enterprise development. The nipa sugar produced in the first project with label Azucar de la Nusa was awarded first place in the product category in the 11th Agricultural and Fisheries Technology Forum and Product Development in 2015. The inventory and scoping of NIPA stand shows that there are large NIPA plantation in the three barangays and neighboring barangays, which means that there are bigger areas that can supply NIPA sap for processing. The project aims to upscale and improve the NIPA sugar production and processing, capacitate people's organizations, establish sustainable market linkages to local and foreign markets, and develop and disseminate knowledge products. The technology is simple and similar to processing of cocoa sugar, but critical is the manner of harvesting sap and cooking it fresh into syrup and later sugar. Mechanical drying is also important in the process to eliminate moisture and lengthen shelf life. Freedom is also using mechanical cooking facility to produce a good natural color quality and a pulverizer for granulized sugar. The project from Lanusa was replicated in Calapan City and Butuan City, generated additional resources, created livelihood, and diversified nipa based products. The municipality of Lanusa has successfully obtained 7 million assistance from People's Survival Fund of the Climate Change Commission for the establishment of nipa wine and sugar processing facility. Freedom also invested around 3 million processing facility in Butuan City while the Makabagong Magsasaka ng Nyog at Nipa ng Parang was provided a grant of 1 million from the Department of Labor and Employment. The participating organizations were able to diversify products aside from Nipa sugar. They are also producing Nipa syrup, Nipa Kurat vinegar, natural Nipa vinegar, Nipa wine and brandy, and Nipa bath soap. However, these products need further certification. Freedom has initiated several commercialization activities including improvement of facilities, securing product certification, product diversification, export market exploration, participating in trade fairs, and establish linkages with local and foreign food processors and chambers of commerce. The project is sustainable. It has a strong economic potential, can produce valuable natural and healthy products, and can contribute to mangrove protection and conservation. The inventory in the three barangays shows that there is an average of 10,000 nipa stand per hectare. 12% of wheats are fruiting every year. Each tree can yield 1 to 2 liters per day. Fresh sap for sugar can be sold at 10 pesos per liter, while for vinegar and wine is for 5 pesos per liter. Freedom also conducted inventory of nipa stands in five provinces, which also yield almost the same average. With the survey of NIPA, minimum yield can have economic benefits of around 370,000 per hectare per year, while the medium yield 560,000 per hectare per year. Business opportunity shows that additional 1 million raw sales can be achieved when sap is processed into sugar, vinegar, and wine, and 1.4 million at medium yield. If an integrated processing facility for NIPA sugar can be established to cover at least 10 hectares, the enterprise can employ more than 30 people and will provide more livelihood and employment along the value chain. We hope this presentation shows you a potential wealth from untapped natural resources that can produce healthy sweetener and other natural products. If you are interested to this product, we'll be glad to share with you our knowledge on processing NIPA-based products. Our utmost thanks to the Bureau of Agricultural Research of the Department of Agriculture, for supporting this research and product development. Thank you very much.